Hello, my name is Amar and I'm just a random underwater hockey dude. Today, let's talk about underwater hockey skills. So this one is probably one of the skills that you want to have super sharp in your skill set. And I'm talking about the push-pull. So let's talk about what it is, what are the situations on, or when do you want to use it? And three, how do we get better at it? So let's have a look. Okay, so as its name suggests, it's just about pushing and pulling the puck away and closer from you anytime that you want or you need. Sometimes you want to swim with the puck here with your arms straight. Mainly when you're in breakaways or you have space in front of you to swim, you're just faster because you're, you're more hydrodynamic when you swim like this. The downside is that you get this possessed really easy and you can't really do much from here other than just swimming straight line. Sometimes you, you want to have the puck closer to you. So once you're here, you have more options. You can change directions. You can do many more things from this control zone that I call. Once you have it like below your chin or your chest. So from here, you can do many other skills. So it's good to have the options to go back and forward. And mastering this skill is very important for that reason. Main reasons or situations that you can use this skill are basically three. First one is to protect the puck. Once you get into contest, you don't want to have the puck far away from you. You want to pull it back so you can have more options. Number two is probably to change direction, once you start doing it in angles, you can change direction with this skill easier. Number three, you can set up all the skills. You can set up a flick. You can set up a swerve or a dummy or a jinx or a essay, whatever you call it, this move. Mislead opposition in the direction. So you can trick people by doing little push-pull and then doing something else. You can do a few simple drills to develop this skill. Ideally in a swimming pool where your body has to develop the strength and the body awareness to be flat on the bottom, overcome buoyancy, water resistance, all the specifics of the underwater environment. Uh, for this reason, I'm not a big fan of land-based drills for skill development, but here's one that it might be helpful for you. So you develop the right movement pattern and the timing of the stick and the puck. So let's have a look to both in and out of the water options. Okay, so for this one, we're going to need 
first like a big cushion or something to support your body and a surface that you can slide the puck so i have this plasticky thing that you use to like slide your chair that will work well don't use it in a wooden floor or a delicate floor because your mom is going to be very grumpy at you for scratching her floor. Dale, ma. Dale, dale, dale. <laughs> You're going to need also, of course, a puck and a stick. There are two main ways that you can do this move. One is by sliding the puck around your stick. One is by going on top of the pack so let's have a look to both of them okay so first you want to understand which one is better for you if your stick has a lot of hook like mine probably it's best to pull and then go on top of the pack if you don't have as much you maybe want to roll the pack around the stick so i can go from here and pull and roll the pack so it comes to this position, right? So let's try both. Maybe just by doing this, it's gonna work. Yeah, that works. So going on top. Maybe by pulling, let's try this. It sort of works. I have a little bit, oh, like a fair bit of hook. So if you have like an Aussie style stick where, with, where you have a lot of hook, probably is going to be best to go on top of the puck. If you don't have as much, you can go around. So just try both and see what works best for you. You can start by trying it in straight lines. So go from here to here. Okay, just this back and forward and understand the timing. And probably at the beginning, you want to have eye contact. So you understand what speed is the pack moving and how fast you need to go behind it. Little by little, you wanna practice so you don't have to look at the pack. So probably you wanna start looking forward and going like back and forward without having too much eye contact with the pack. And then what you wanna start trying is doing it in angles. So now we're gonna try to go from here to here to here to here back and forward so let's try by rolling the puck around the stick that sort of works not not that much yeah so i have a lot of hooks so probably i want to go like on top first you're gonna look you want to probably stop here and look look and then you want to always have your eyes forward the less you have to look at the puck the better player you're going to be. So practice at different speeds, different timing, different technique, going on top, going around the puck, and little by little, try to get rid of the eye contact with the puck and just have your eyes forward. Just give it a go and let me know how you went. Once we're in the water, I want you to try it by swimming in straight line first. With your hips close to the bottom, your head raised and eyes looking to the front. At the beginning you don't need to do it too quick. What is more important is for you to do it correctly and consciously so you develop the right movement patterns and it becomes more natural. Then we can move on and try it in 45 degree angles in the same manner. Slow and precise at the beginning, focusing on getting the timing right and having a strong and correct body position. After that, we can start adding more and more speed progressively so we can make it more realistic and start using it during training games. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you did, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can get remote coaching from me if you want to take your underwater hockey one step further or you just want to improve in one of the many areas of athletic performance. If you're interested, just fill out the form below or just send me a message. Thanks very much and see you next time.